the hearing cases, for example, or, or was it still very much alive in international law? Um, yeah. I guess it's, it's different. If you want an experience, a real legal experience, and you want to be able to go to court or something, it's probably not for you. But, I mean, there's all kinds of things, meetings and general assembly and you know, security kinds of stuff going on all the time. And if you're in, say, you know, the legal office at the, the UN, you're going to get to work on some pretty interesting legal matters as well. <coughs> Who went to um, a non-English speaking country? Did you pick up a lot of the language? Is there? Yeah. 
a big part of um, working at the ICT. Um, yeah, no other no other questions. Um, well, if that's it, then um, I would like to uh, thank the Castan Centre again for putting on uh, for enabling us to use this fantastic venue. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, each of the speakers, Stephen, Heidi and Monique. Uh, we have uh, a small gift that Pip will uh, distribute now um, to thank them. Thank you, Alison. We don't even get the surprise in the bag. <laughs> so thank you for uh, giving up your Wednesday evening and talking to us about your experiences. Um, and would everyone join me in thanking you. So that's the conclusion uh, of the evening. I would uh, encourage everyone to take up any opportunity in IHL that uh, you come across. Um, in particular, you can start with signing up. Uh, to I'm also the researcher VP for IHL, so anyone who's new from IHL research gets Yes, we'll have, we'll have a sign-up sheet uh, for Friends of IHL uh, newsletter, which will advertise um, uh, positions, uh, volunteer positions that you'll be able to participate. Uh, with friends of IHL, so please sign up to that. Um, and otherwise, I hope you have a safe trip home. Thanks. Thank you.